Just throw it on the floor, bro. Get it out of here. Oh, dude. Bro, just get it out of here. Oh, I need boy. a trash can. Oh, boy. Bro, All we right, got the go. trash can. We'll be back. We'll be back soon. Damn, nails are gritty right now. Ew, bro. Yeah. bro look at mine. They're yeah. nasty. We've been, we've, been working, <laughs> we've been working hard today. Who cares? Where's daddy? Where's we've been, daddy? We've been working hard. Daddy. daddy mode, he's in the chat, baby. Let's get it. Come on. I'll go straight to let, Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. This music, what is this? Hello, music? Or baby oh, shiny. This is not bad. This is like country. Yeah. This is country dubstep. <laughs> this is like country dubstep. Country oh, dubstep. What the fuck? <laughs> country dubstep. All right, let's see what Pokeball's got. Let's see if we can get him. Pokeball. Hey, with this setup, one day Old we're gonna man, go. Old man, Sean. Dog. You know, it'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> With this setup, you might actually get a hundred thousand jobs. Ow, dude, bro, you just hit a hundred thousand jobs. We're good. We're Ow. good. We're good. All right, we're good. We're good. That's, that's messed up. Dude, he's gonna destroy you. <laughs> All right, guys. Ooh. You are just. Uh, I feel so bad for you. Old oh, man, Shung, <laughs> coming in with the fire. What's going on, brews? So, last night, Cool Trainer Ryan, Pokevault, Pokerev, all had a little stream get-together. I was watching said stream little get-together, and it got me thinking. It got me thinking about Pokemon TCG content creation over the last five years, and how much it has drastically changed over the last five years. <clears throat> if you're someone who has been into Pokemon cards since 2018 or 2019, you know as well as I do that a lot has changed over the last five years. Not just with interest in Pokemon TCG, card values exploding and then flattening out, COVID, lack of supply, investor bros, slabs, PSA 10, CGC, BGS, Black Label, there's so much stuff that has occurred in the Pokemon TCG over the last five years. It essentially has been like a crazy roller coaster ride. And that also can be said about Pokemon content creation here on YouTube. So, over the last five years, I have been consuming said Pokemon content creation on YouTube. And I have seen it go from 150%. Well, like 95%. All Leonhart, where the man, the myth, the not-so-legend Leonhart was literally almost everything Pokemon TCG content on YouTube in 2000 and, let's say, 19. I now see this stream of Cool Trainer Ryan, Pokerev, and Pokevault, and it really got me reflecting, thinking about how things have changed in content creation as well over the last five years. So that's what I'm going to talk about. First of all, this video you see down below is literally just footage cut, cut straight from yesterday's live stream. I will link the video down below. I will link all three of those content creators that are far bigger and far more influential than myself down below as well. If you're watching this video, let's be honest, you probably already follow Pokerev, Pokevault, and CTR. But in case you don't, go give them a go give them a sub, okay? Very entertaining people whose channels are like this. Trajectory this. So again, five years ago, here's what we had. We had Lee and Hart as the poster child of Pokemon content creation. We had a very young, very small, I remember when he only had 15,000 subs. I think that's when I first discovered Pokerev, around 15,000 subs, but very small. 
you had some SM Pratt, you had TCA Gaming, who was my absolute idol, um, but very, very small. They were very small. It was really a one-man show with Lean Hard at the top, the very top of the mountain, and then everyone else way, way, way down below. Now, as far as this isn't going to be a me rip part Lee and Hart video, this is more just going to be a compare and contrast and why these three individuals are doing very well and kind of helps explain Lee and Hart's fall from grace. So way back in the day, 2019, Lee and Hart, he will, this is more or less straight from the horse's mouth. I don't think Lean Hart's going to, if he saw this video, I don't think Lean Hart would even care that I'm saying this because he would probably agree. Lean Hart got really caught up in his own popularity. He got really caught up in the algorithm. He got really caught up in uploading as much as possible to just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. Never did a lot of collabs. And he got to a point where... A lot of the stuff, a lot of the content that Lee and Hart was creating was starting to feel not so genuine, a little fake, a little just for the views, a little like, hey, maybe you should just slow down and do more quality, less quantity, stop incorporating children so much and that kind of giveaway hospital crap. And then he started making some mistakes, whether it be uh, his rare candy mystery slabs or a lot of mystery slabs that had zero value. He started over valuing his own signature did a lot of weird stuff and a lot of people started to turn on Leonhardt. One of these three is the poster child for people who turned against Leonhardt. Referring to CTR, obviously, if you don't know. CTR doesn't really like Leonhardt, to say the least. Here we are today in 2024 and we have Poker Rev, instead of at 15,000 or whatever, he's now got like 2.5 million or I, I don't know. I'm not I haven't checked it. It's over 2 million. It's who knows maybe even 3 million by now So needless to say poker rev going from what I personally remember 10 to 15 all the way up to 2 2 million He has done very well for himself cool trainer Ryan. I think he's at about 90,000 subs right now 93 He's gonna be at a hundred thousand subs before we know it especially with his new setup his new studio Everything he's got going on right here now today poker vault Old man Sean, this man just crossed 100,000 subs like last week. So, yes, there are a very few like real breaking Nate and a few others. Uh, Deep Pocket Monster obviously has a very large like 750,000 subs or something like that. But for the most part, these three, these three individuals, Poker Rev, Poker Vault, Cool Trainer Ryan, these are three guys who have known each other for a very long time, who are friends who also know what Pokemon content creation was like five years ago. The fact that these three are now essentially the face of the current and future Pokemon TCG content creation on YouTube is an exceptionally good thing for the community. This is a much healthier position for the content creation community to be in than the one-man show Leonhardt four, five, three years ago why one these are people who regularly authentically very genuinely engage with their audience whether it be through giveaways through responses through actually watching other people's youtube videos thanking people who feature them i have featured them on previous content each one of these three as fast as you can imagine wrote me back very very with with like a large amount of gratitude these are people who don't need to watch my videos who don't even know need to know that I exist, Mimic Brew. But yet, you, you throw them a bone or you do something, you say something great, they respond quickly and we're very thankful. So in my personal experience, all three of these individuals have every chance I've given them to have a reason to talk to me. They have. In Leonhart, I just, I don't, I don't think Leonhart did enough of that networking, enough of that engaging with other content creators unless it was purely purely for views somehow and that's my opinion it's the way it is we now have other content creators that are gaining large followings we have people such as uh rattle pokemon opossum bud and rock sandy those three kind of lead the way on on keeping people in check calling people out we didn't have any of those people three four five years ago we just didn't 
And this IP, this hobby is one of the most scammy, most illegitimate sellers left and right and back alleys, you name it. So people like like Rattle, like Opossum, like Mr. Lil Rock Sandy, all of those guys, they are here now and they were not here five years ago. And because they are here, this community is wider, it's stronger, it's deeper, and it's safer, okay? So you got people like them here now. You have your deep pocket monsters. This man comes from a lot of self-made wealth and uses it to enrich the Pokemon community every way he can. And I am exceptionally happy for Deep Pocket Monster for having that 750,000 plus subs because Card Party is the future of Pokemon events. I mean, it's already the biggest deal in year two and it hasn't even happened yet. Imagine Card Party five years from now, 10 years from now. Point is again, I just think we should all stop the day after Pokemon Inter International Pokemon Day 2024. And I think if you know, then you are very grateful and you love this Pokemon TCG content creation community and you know it is getting better year in and year out with great personalities, great authentic people who aren't just constantly doing everything strictly for the views. That's not necessarily shot at Leonhart. Leonhart knows that he has fucked up in the past and he understands, I believe, why he is nowhere near the top of the mountain anymore. Okay? That's just the way it is. And <clears throat> for me personally, I am very happy that I joined this community about a year ago or so now. And I look forward to the day when I can upload three videos a week, but do it in a genuine, in an absolutely genuine way where I'm making these videos because I am exceptionally passionate about Pokemon cards. Yes, I am someone who in 1999 was 12 years old and I was the only kid in my entire elementary school, the entire neighborhood, neighborhood down the street. I was like the only kid I knew that pulled a first edition base set Charizard in 1999. And being a chubby little kid with divorced parents who's into just Nintendo 64, Zelda, Mario, Smash Bros, and Pokemon, like, I have no problem at all. I have no problem at all. I don't care if this sounds lame, but like my absolute best childhood memory is pulling my first edition base set Charizard. That, it just meant, like we knew in March of 99 how cool that card was. Like that card was instantly on the cover of every magazine. Everyone wanted the Charizard and you know, I didn't like get in shape, start playing sports and all that till I was much, you know, till like high school. So I really was a chubby little nerdy kid. So pulling first, I mean, I, I can close my eyes and right here, there's Andrew, there's Mitchell, here's my dad, here's my dad's girlfriend, there's Wizards of the Coast 20 feet that way, here's the food court in the mall right behind me, it is the third pack. We see the red, we see the Charizard, we all freak out, scream. My dad and my dad's girlfriend are like, why are you screaming? Shut up, stop. You're in the middle of a freaking food court in a mall. We immediately show them the Charizard. All five of us, without saying a word, walk right back into Wizards of the Coast and buy this huge glass hard case with screws. Like, I was 12 years old. I'm 36 years old now, and I can close my eyes and bring myself right back to when I pulled Charizard. Why am I saying all this? saying all this because Pokemon has had a huge impact on my life and the reason I can sit here as a 36 year old grown ass man wearing this silly ass Mimikyu costume with 100% comfort and know that I know what I'm talking about is because I've been here a long time and I'm very proud of the future of Pokemon content creation and the future strength of the Pokemon IP in general. So anyway Cool Trainer Ryan, Poke Rev, Poke Vault, Possum Bud, Rattle, Rock Sandy, all, all these guys that I love, Deep Pocket Monster. I just want to give you guys like a thank you. Thank you for shepherding this content creation niche of Pokemon in such an incredible way. You guys have been rewarded for it. The reason you are growing is because you do an amazing job. And honestly, this is just my shout out to you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. And it looks like you guys have done an amazing job not making the same mistakes that Lee and Hart made in the past. All right, y'all. 
like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces!